right, so I'm hungry, and today I decided to go to McDonald's, which usually I don't go to for lunch. Very rarely even go there for breakfast or even dinner. But I was hungry, so I decided to go. So I'm looking at the board, and I see they've got their signature crafted recipes. They've changed it up. They used to have um, the guacamole one, the barbecue one, then they had another one. This one that I got is the um, the white cheddar garlic or the garlic white cheddar. Um, I requested the grilled chicken, but they ran out. So instead they made uh, the quarter pounder meat that is uh, grilled fresh, never frozen. Uh, let's let's take a look at this. Uh, the The bun looks like your typical McDonald's bun. It's supposed to be on an artisan roll. Doesn't really look like it. The lettuce is still your typical uh, McDonald's lettuce. There's this much mayonnaise on there. Um, not much. There is a big thick slice of uh, tomato. A white cheddar uh, right there. You can see that. And then the uh, the hamburger bun. Now, or the hamburger. The, the ad that they have playing in the store itself makes it look like that burger is just thick and juicy and all this other stuff. This burger, I'm not gonna lie, it's $4.99. It looks, it looks sad. It looks like a very sad burger for $5. But let's see how it tastes. Yeah, it's good. the the burger The burger itself isn't. I wouldn't go as far as to say, "Oh my gosh, this thing is juicy." But the tomato, being as thick as it is, kind of overpowers the rest of the flavor. It's got a little, kind of a little seasoned, like salt and pepper taste to it. Um, from this angle, it almost looks dry. Oh, it's not a thumbs up. I'd say over here, um, something's just weird about it. I don't know if it's the beef. I don't know if it's the thick tomato. I'm not a, I'm not a huge tomato fan, but I'm a tomato fan of like it's as long as it's not a quarter of an inch thick. Um, and this really is about a quarter of an inch thick. Um. I don't know. Hard to hard to justify five bucks for a lame burger when I can go over to anywhere else and get like Carl's Jr. and get a bigger burger for just like a buck more. Two bucks more. I don't know. That's my opinion. So this is the garlic wheat garlic sorry. We'll try this again. The garlic white cheddar grilled um, beef sandwich on the artisan roll. This does not look like an artisan roll. It looks like just a regular hamburger bun. It's four ninety nine. I I give it a yeah. So there you have it. If you've tried it, uh, let me know what you thought um, in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Even though the burger isn't a thumbs up, give me a thumb up and make sure you subscribe also. And share, because maybe somebody else wants to know if this five buck thing is even worth five bucks. So, we'll see you later. Bye. And this is a PS. I'm driving now. The more I got closer in, I can really taste the garlic. If you like garlic, you might like this burger. The portion with the garlic that I had, quite strong. And the garlic portion, I will give a thumbs up to.
just saying. The rest of it's still right back where it was. I just wanted to throw that in there in case somebody else had it and they go, mine tastes really good with garlic. Yeah, that part is good. So, there you go. That's all. 